I heard the cutest story from my fellow Texan and beautiful to look at, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> he was talking about how, do y'all want me to keep this up there, ladies? Okay, he was talking about how something from his childhood shaped his view of himself. He said his mom instilled in him an unbelievable amount of confidence growing up. Well, in 1977, his mom entered him in the Little Mr. Texas contest. Now picture this. <laughs> he had little jeans, little boots, a vest, a belt buckle on. He said he rides in on this horse. He talks to the judges about ranching and respect for elders. <laughs> he said confetti went off and he got this trophy in his hand. He's got this thing. And his mom was like, you did it. You're little Mr. Texas. And they went home. Well, that photo of him with his trophy hung on the kitchen wall. And every morning when he'd come in for breakfast, his mom would say, look at you. There you are, Matthew. You are little Mr. Texas. From 1977 to 1988, when he graduated high school, every single day, that's what he heard at the breakfast table. In 2019, when he was preparing to write his book on green lights, he came across that photo of him holding the trophy. He thought, oh my gosh, there I am, little Mr. Texas. Then he looked really close at the engravement on the trophy and it said, runner up. <laughs> he said, mom, you've been telling me since I was six that I was the winner. I'm the runner up. She said, oh, well, Matthew, the kid that won, his family was rich and they bought him a fancy suit and stuff. We call that cheating. She said, you are little Mr. Texas. He says he jokes still to this day. Would I be where I am in life today had I known I was the runner up to little Mr. Texas? <laughs> By the way, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. And I wanna talk to you today about how the life you currently live is the life you think you're worth. I mean, that's an adorable story of Matthew McConaughey, but the truth is our identity of who we are affects everything in our lives. It affects the career you choose, the relationships you engage in, the body you have, the salary you make, the relationship you even have with God. It literally affects everything, even the prayers you pray. And hey, before I get into this message, I wanted to ask real quick, if you're enjoying this YouTube channel, I mean, it's vulnerable to, you know, just upload videos. Sometimes you just kind of wonder, do you really want me to continue doing this? Are you enjoying it? So if you would take one second and just let me know by pushing the subscribe button, that means so much to us. It's sort of like a thumbs up, like keep going, Terry. And I never take it for granted. So I want to say thank you from my heart for doing that. And I want to mention real quick, about a month ago, I brought back by popular demand, the $8 vision board course, which I just happen to have a vision board. And I seriously could not believe how many people enrolled in that one week. We have, I just heard today, over 19,000 people enrolled from 130 nations. Isn't that crazy? And I'm so grateful. So I'm gonna offer it again this week for those who may have missed out. So if you've been waiting for the $97 vision board course to be offered again for only $8, this is your day to sign up right now. Just click the link in the description and get ready. You're gonna be checking off your goals and living your dreams. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, back to our topic. I heard Christy Wright telling a story about Michelangelo. I'd rather look at McConaughey, but he was told that when he was born, he was born into a noble family. So this sense of identity shaped how he saw himself, um, how he thought of himself, how he interacted with people. It was a very strong part of who he was and how he saw himself and even how others perceived him. But here's the shocking part. Just like with Matthew McConaughey, it wasn't true. He actually wasn't part of a noble family. Historians discovered it years later. Well, they concluded that what made him succeed in life was not genetics, it was how he thought of himself. He believed he was noble and it drastically viewed his perception of life. Well, here's what I want you to know. You were born into a noble family. You are a winner, not the runner up, according to God's word. In fact, God said that you are a royal priesthood. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's in Psalm 139. You are strong and courageous and full of victory. God has a wonderful plan for your life. That's Jeremiah 29, 11. But see, you may not feel that way, but your identity is in Christ and in who God says you are. But you'll never see yourself that way until you see it on the inside. So the truth is, 
you behave in a manner consistent with how you see yourself. Now let me explain. I heard another true story about a guy named Victor who at 15 years old, his teacher told him that he wouldn't amount to much, that he should just drop out of school and learn a trade. Because he was told he was an idiot, he acted like one for the next 17 years. When he was 32, he found out he had an IQ of 161. Well, when he found out he was smart, he started acting smart. He's since written several books, secured several patents, become a very successful businessman. He's chairman of the Mensa Society, which has a qualification of an IQ of 140 or higher. Crazy. It all points back to you behave in a manner consistent with how you see yourself. Remember at the beginning, I said the life you currently live is the life you think you're worth. Well, you know, I went through my own terrible experiences of being violated by a guy and losing my virginity by a complete stranger and feeling so worthless, ugly, unimportant, rejected. And because I felt that way, I let people treat me that way. You know, I was going through life just behaving in a manner consistent with how I saw myself. Well, finally, I made a decision to find out for myself, what does God's word say about me? Not just what does it say about my dad who's a preacher, what does it say about me? Well, let me tell you, the Bible says that the entrance of God's word, it brings light. Well, what happens when a light goes on? All of a sudden, you see things you didn't see when you were in the dark. You know, like when I stay in a hotel and I get up in the middle of the night to go potty, <laughs> I've ran into walls, I've tripped over suitcases, opened closet doors looking for a toilet. I mean, but as soon as I flip on the light, I see the path. Well, when you start filling up with God's word, the entrance of God's word brings light. And he's the one who said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. God said, I have chosen you and not rejected you. I have a plan for your life. I want to do a new thing in your life. All of a sudden, the light expels the darkness. And then you start getting a new image of your worth in your life. You start getting vision for your life. And for me, I began changing the way I saw myself by doing these two things. Number one, see it in the Word of God. Number two, see it before my eyes. You know, my life began to move in that direction. My identity began to improve as I filled up with God's word. My life began to get exciting as I filled a vision board, you know, with images of where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do, who I want to meet, um, whose life I want to impact. And I've never looked back. So just like Matthew McConaughey, Michelangelo, a guy named Victor, and just like me, I am now currently living the life I think I'm worth. And it's time for you to do the same. You were worth Jesus hanging on a cross for. You were worth God writing a whole book about his love for you. You were worth dying for. So it's time for you to turn on that light. Fill up with God's word. Fill up with vision. Get a new image of what you want to do with your life. And watch what God can do. So I want to close out by saying you didn't stumble upon this by accident. God's trying to get your attention that it's time to get vision right now. So take advantage of my best-selling vision board course, normally $97 for only $8 today. You're going to get my ebook right here. You're going to get the e-workbook, Dream It, Pen It, Live It. All of this for only $8. So just click the link in the description right now, get enrolled, and remember, I will be cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to get more inspirational content, click one of these videos right here. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.